Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, the unprofessional. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our morning stream. I think I might do morning streams at least once a week. So, how have you been? I have waken up so early this morning because Oh, you can still hear my coffee. <laughs> it's so loud. I woke up early this morning because somehow I'm already used to that type of sleep schedule. So I'm thinking I might be sleeping later, like after the stream. <laughs> Last night, it was a fun stream we played. Final Fantasy with Moshi Vienna. I actually didn't learn a lot. Well, I learned how to attack mobs and that's about it. <laughs> I learned, well, how to create my own character and we made a new friend. I think I will be playing um, Final Fantasy again later just to you know grind up a little bit so that um on friday which is my next stream with moshi i will be less of a liability <laughs> i will learn on my own how to survive in the world of fanalan or wait is it 
the world or the city i'm not sure i just know that that's the place we are in in final fantasy so how how was your um, morning um basically today will be a very very chill stream where we will according to the agenda to my right we will study bahasa indonesia and then well that's about it we will just hang out and chat <laughs> try to learn another language so if you're wondering why bahasa indonesia why not japanese or korean or chinese or maybe french hi emmy good morning good morning good morning you're just in time so i was explaining why am i learning bahasa indonesia instead of like a more popular language when it comes to like the community like maybe japanese or korean or even french and my answer to that is i'm actually also learning <laughs> those other languages if you look at my duolingo account it's a mess over there it's a write down a mess because i have started like several language courses at once and I don't even like open my account all that often. often. <laughs> anyway, if you are hearing something like stirring, oh, you have online class? Like already? <laughs> it was just Easter yesterday. Why do you have online class already? Anyway, good luck to your online class. Please focus, learn well. <laughs> Education is very important to me, you know, because, um, yeah, my day job is actually teaching as well. So I'm very, very particular about that. So for the ducklings who are still in school, still studying, I want you to study hard. Well, not hard, but study smart. <laughs> Just pay attention to your classes um do at least the minimum <laughs> effort because you know what classes are like half of the time it's just showing up like half of your grade is you showing up and just showing your teacher that you are trying and then the other half that's like how much you tried <laughs> So yeah, the first step to good grades would be showing up to class and trying. Oh, you'll be in college. Oh well, college is, well, you know what I said about earlier, like, um, school is about showing up. College is more so like that like there are professors out there who will give you like a three a passing grade just because you showed up a lot in their class so yeah that's something that you might want to consider because professors are people too they can see if you're trying and sometimes they would give consideration about you know because well people go through a lot of things students go through a lot of things and sometimes even though you're trying life is just hard like i know that firsthand because like i spent a lot of time in college <laughs> several breakdowns i had to like stop studying for a break for my mental health at least two times and if it were not for the people the teachers the deans who were very understanding i wouldn't be where i am today and i'm very very thankful to them you know anyway i'm just going to take a sip 
from my cup of coffee that you've been hearing from earlier. Oh, that's good. That's so good. So, here in my room, I have my coffee maker. Like, you know, the thing where you put the ground coffee beans and then you put water at the back and then you plug it in press that button you wait for it and then you have coffee the kind of thing you would see in like offices or um let's say banks yeah i have that type of machine in my room because i don't want to be going out to get coffee <laughs> And I have a lot of different coffee beans, ground coffee beans. But my favorite is the local ones, like the ones that you would see in SM Walter Mart. <laughs> I know it's like very cheap compared to like um, imported coffee beans, but hear me out local coffee tastes very very good kapeng barako is the best i have like um family members who live abroad and one of the things that my aunt has been telling me is that oh can you buy your tito kapeng barako because we can't find it here and it's just better than the coffee here i'm not gonna say where the coffee is from i mean my family like where they are because like i don't want to say that our coffee is better than this country's coffee but that's what they've been telling me that it's hard to find there and it tastes better Right now, I am drinking. I, I forgot what this... <laughs> I think this one is from my other aunt from Singapore. And whenever I drink this, I just feel sad. So what I do is I put a lot of condensada on it. So I don't have to put sugar and cream. I'm, it's all in one. Just put condensada on your brewed coffee. Hi, Monster Potato! Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome to my stream! Uh, today, we will be learning Bahasa Indonesia and yeah, maybe some other time we will be learning another language like Japanese or Chinese or Korean but today it's Bahasa Indonesia I think it's overdue that I greet everyone in my very broken Bahasa um, <coughs> Salamat pagi, apa kabar? Nama saya Bibi Bakunawa Saya hmm, Naga Pemakan Bulan dari Philippines I don't know if my um, sentence construction is right. So if anyone is um, Indonesian or is at least, um, what do you call this, very good in the language in our chat, please tell me if I butchered your language and I apologize in advance. <laughs> anyway, I'm just drinking coffee before we actually start studying because my brain is not working that well yet. I mean, if we are going to study, I would want my brain to work well, right? Okay, so I know no one is claiming hydrate, but I'm going to now hydrate myself with coffee. This is your morning ASMR, kinda, not really. Oh my god, it's so good. Any type of coffee is good when you put condensado on it. And oh, that's another thing I want to tell you about. <laughs> I know it, I might sound very tita when I say this, but like I was very excited to find out that they're selling condensada in resealable packs. Like, you know how they sell um, cheese flavored sandwich spread and then you they put it in these um i don't know what you call that type of packaging but basically 
it's like a plastic container, a hard type of plastic, and then there's this tiny cup at the edge where you would usually cut. So for you to have an easier time, they just put an opening there, like you can put a cap on it. So they did that for condensada, which is great because when I was younger, condensada would be like in a can and you would like um, open the can by pushing a knife <laughs> through two sides of the can so that you know one side would let the air come in and push the milk out and then the other you use that hole to put milk in whatever food you're putting it <laughs> oh oh ganteng i am not sure because i have not been um like i have not studied bad words <laughs> Because I feel like if it's something that you guys know, it would be a bad word because you... Oh, it's not? It's not a bad word? I'm surprised and impressed. <laughs> Google says it's handsome. If Google is lying to me, <laughs> I would be very embarrassed. But yeah, my Bahasa Indonesia is very broken right now. I took a class many, many years ago in university, but like it's just three units and I never used the language again because yeah, I have nobody to talk with me. Like I have Indonesian friends, like one of my best friends is Indonesian, but we only use English to talk. <laughs> Yeah, good looking, handsome. So Gantang is pogi. <laughs> All right. Now hold on. I think it's time to start our <laughs> our study session. Let me just get my. <laughs> Hello, I am struggling with OBS. Hold on. Okay, we are here. So, as you can see, I didn't bother to learn the alphabet again because Bahasa Indonesia is like you pronounce it similar to Filipino except the letter E is different. There's also the letter C, you pronounce it differently. But aside from that, it's basically you're talking in the same um, language. Well, not language, but like the letters. The phonics of it is very, very similar. So the E is not pronounced as E, it's pronounced as U. Uh. And the C it's like ch. All right, I'm going to skip these three and we're going straight to belongings because it's broken right now and we will be restoring it. I am not going for the legendary because I am not confident about that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. This is... I mean... Okay. Like I was saying earlier. Um, <laughs> look at my languages here. I have Korean, Indonesian, Japanese, Spanish, Russian, Chinese, Greek, Arabic, French, Latin. Please do not mind me. I cannot speak half of these languages. Maybe I can like understand a lot of korean and spanish because those ones are easy but chinese kind of not really <laughs> now let's go to indonesian i haven't prepared it well i'm so sorry about that okay so let's start with restaurant because that's an important thing if you're going anywhere oh wait i'm not okay start Mereka dari restoran. 
mereka, mereka dari, dari restoran. restoran. And then they are from the restaurant. Okay, let's continue. This is not a restaurant. Ini, Ini. Bukan, bukan restoran. restoran. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not doing that bad. <laughs> Nama restoran ini Jakarta. Nama, Nama restoran, restoran ini, ini Jakarta. Jakarta. So the name of this restaurant is Jakarta. He wants rice with fried chicken. Dia, Dia. Um, mau. mau. Nasi. Nasi with is it dengan dengan um, ayam, ayam goreng. goreng. I'm not sure about like the construction of my sentence, but we'll see. Oh, I'm right. Hey, I have not completely forgotten all of my Indonesian. Let's go. Ini bukan restoran. Ini bukan. This is not a restaurant. Okay, we got five in a row. That's good. Mereka mau ayam goreng. Mereka, Mereka mau ayam, ayam goreng. goreng. They want fried chicken. Saya, Saya mau, mau makan, makan nasi, nasi goreng. goreng. Okay. I think you would be familiar with nasi goreng because it's food. Basically, nasi goreng is Indonesian fried rice. <laughs> Dia mau nasi dengan ayam goreng. Dia, Dia mau nasi. nasi. Dia mau nasi dengan ayam goreng. Dengan ayam, ayam. goreng. goreng. Oke, okay, he wants rice and fried chicken. Hmm. Kamu, Kamu mau rice and nasi, nasi dengan, dengan ayam. ayam. Saya makan nasi dengan ayam goreng. I eat rice with fried chicken. I like this lesson. It's easy and at the same time it talks about food. Are you getting hungry, my ducklings? <laughs> okay, we got 10 in a row. All right. This fried rice is from a restaurant. Um... Nasi, nasi goreng, goreng ini, ini dari, dari restoran. restoran. Oke. Okay. Kamu mau nasi dengan ayam? Do you want worse um out there rice with chicken? I eat rice with fried chicken. Saya. Saya. Makan, Makan nasi, nasi dengan, dengan goreng. goreng. Oh wait, saya makan. Oh, ah, I forgot ayam, chicken. Oh, I'm sorry. I've... Nasi goreng ini dari restoran. This fried rice. Dari restoran is from restaurant. Oh, <laughs> wait! I'm I lost a. I'm I probably need to drink a little bit more of my coffee. <laughs> Nama, Nama restoran, restoran ini. ini. Jakarta. Jakarta. Let's see. Okay, we're good. I eat rice with fried chicken. Saya, Saya makan, makan nasi, nasi 
dengan, dengan ayam, ayam goreng. goreng. Okay, Nasi we goreng good. ini dari restoran. This fried rice is from. Okay, we will not forget the A <laughs> restaurant. Okay, good. Let's go, let's go. I cannot, I will not. <laughs> Stop trying to make me do that. Duo. Okay, should we do one more restaurant or places? What do you think, Chad? Oh, smart potato. <laughs> Okay, since you're following, let's do it one more time. I think they will give us like a different set of questions. Soup daging. Soup, Soup daging. daging. Wait. Oh, there. Meat soup. So daging is meat and soup is soup. <laughs> Let's go. Makanan dan minuman. Makanan dan minuman. Food and beverage. So, for those of you who are Filipino, you would see how this sounds similar to like um Ilocano and then other Filipino languages like there are words that sound uh, kapampangan there are words that sound ilocano because it's all from one family or tree of languages so makanan is food which is similar to like mangan to eat I think that's ilocano I'm not sure because I'm very very confused with my central Luzon languages <laughs> Minuman is beverage, which is similar to inumin, right? Interesting. Daging itu merah. Daging, Daging itu, itu merah. merah. So that meat is red. Merah is red. I eat meat. Saya, Saya makan, makan daging. daging. Mereka punya makanan. Okay, mereka, mereka punya, punya makanan. makanan. They have food. Mereka is they. Punya. Have. Makanan. Food. Let's go. Dia makan daging. Dia makan. is dia. he. But like, their um, dia is very similar to the Filipino sia, which is... Um, gender neutral, so it could be he or she. Dia makan daging. He eats meat. Menu minuman. M menu menu minuman. minuman. Okay, so this is the menu you ask for <laughs> for beverages. I want to order uh, order soup. Saya, Saya. Mau, mau. mau Oh wait, hold on. Order, order. Harga is um like price. Wait, gula is sugar. Minum is to drink. I'm going to try pasan. Pasan. Soup. Soup. Okay. So you see, sometimes even if you don't know the answer, you would get it by the process of elimination. Hi, hello, hello to the people who just arrived. <laughs> oh, so you've traveled to Indonesia. I want to visit there as well because I think our cultures are somewhat similar. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, yes. Mangan or manganan is tara kain tayo or mangantayon in Wait. I don't know what's making the noise. <laughs> People would talk to you in Indonesian. 
Well, yeah, because we kind of look like them. <laughs> okay, let's go to the Itu next one. Itu minuman mereka. Itu minuman mereka. That or those actually, because those are their drinks. He orders chicken soup. Dia pesan soup ayam. Okay, hold on. I'm going to be right back. Like within five or ten seconds, I'm just going to close the door because it's getting very loud outside. Okay, 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 I'm back. Hello, Remy! Remy, we are doing an educational stream where we are learning Indonesian in Duolingo. Okay, let's continue. Saya mau pesan soup. Saya mau pesan soup. Okay, I... Want to order soup? All right, let's continue. Those are their drinks. Itu, Itu. minuman, minuman. Mereka. mereka. Am I right? Okay, good. Saya pesan makanan kucing. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I wait. I order cat food. Is this still like about a restaurant? <laughs> I am very confused because this chapter is supposed to be about a restaurant. Why is he ordering cat food in a restaurant? But yeah. <laughs> saya tidak suka makan sup. Okay, saya, saya tidak, tidak suka, suka makan, makan sup. Okay, I don't like eating or I don't want to eat soup. Something like that. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Saya pesan makanan, 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 kucing. Wait, let's see. Okay, my spelling is correct. Oh, we got a perfect score. We've earned some XP, which we will be losing because I do not keep my streaks. <laughs> okay. Again, welcome, welcome to all the people who just arrived. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Remy. Good morning, Mori. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hold on, my chat is kind of too fast, so I will have to pause and <laughs> read the chats first before we continue. I have no idea about like how they. Uh, convert money from rupiah to oh are you from australia P potato hey <laughs> i was talking about my relatives earlier and some of my relatives live in australia okay hold on i think it will be better if i read <laughs> from Okay. Yes, you're from Kangaroo Land. I don't know much about like um, the places in Australia, but because like most of the people I know are from Sydney, so <laughs> anything else I do not know. I only know um, ride because like that's most of where my students and clients are from. <laughs> All right, let me just continue with 
the next one would you like to do another one for the restaurant or do you want to try places or we could do base verbs chat you can choose which lesson we will be taking i still don't know where the noise is coming from <laughs> Oh, that's very near then. Well, in my opinion, but like, I don't know what is near <laughs> in other people's like uh, opinions. Because like, near and far is very subjective. Because to me, near is like anywhere within an hour ride. <laughs> but I do understand that in some countries, that would be considered far. Okay, let me just take a sip from my coffee. So yeah, I was asking which one would you like to open? Restaurant, places, base verbs, or we can... Oh, we can open possessive. Hold on. I cannot open these other ones yet. I think we have to get around at least one or two. I'm not sure. But like we have to at least have some proficiency in these other lessons before we move on to the next one. Oh, you don't have Jollibee there? That's sad indeed. Why don't you? <laughs> I was like thinking, oh, why don't you just franchise Jollibee? And then I remembered, oh, yeah, it's expensive. But from what I've heard, you can like recreate the Jollibee um, recipes. I think there are several recipes floating around on the internet. You can try that if you if you miss Jollibee that much, and you can like tell us <laughs> if it actually tastes like Jollibee. Okay, let's see what we are going to do next. Mm. I have two over here, one here. Okay, let's try places. Let's start this one. Dari sini. Dari sini. Dari sini. Dari sini. From here? Okay, from here. I am at school. Saya. Saya. Di. di sekolah. sekolah. Sekolah is school. Oh, I forgot ada. Dia makan di dapur. Dia Dia makan, makan di, di dapur. dapur. He eats in the kitchen. So, dapur is kitchen. Let's continue. Saya di sini. I am here. Di sini is here. Dia ada di rumah. Dia, Dia ada, ada di, di rumah. rumah. Rumah, I think, is room. Am I correct? Yeah. Oh, at home. Home. Wait, I'm confused. Which one is... You know what? Um. Let's continue. She is at home. Rumah, home, house. Oh, we had five in a row. I am here. Saya, Saya di sini. Di sini. I keep on forgetting ada because mostly I think you can omit that word. Kamu ada di sekolah. Kamu, Kamu ada, ada di, di sekolah. sekolah. You are at school. Rumah saya tidak besar. Okay. Rumah saya means my house. Tidak Rumah. is not. Besar, Besar is big. Okay, my house is not big. Rumah saya tidak besar. Saya ada di dapur. Saya, saya ada, ada di dapur. I'm at home. Ada is like, uh, I can't, 
It's like at. Is it? It's hard to explain. Kami membaca di sekolah. Okay, kami membaca di sekolah. We read at school. So, membaca is very similar to the Tagalog word is um, bumasa or basa, baca. So, it kind of has a similar root word. I eat here. Saya, Saya makan, makan di sini. Okay. Jeruk itu ada di dapur. Jeruk. Okay, we actually have a VTuber that is jeruk, which is orange. <laughs> that orange ada di dapur is where? In the kitchen. So, the hard thing about like um, translating from English to Indonesian or Indonesian to English is that um, I think in Indonesian tr tends to simplify the sentences. There's not a lot of like modifications. Like, yeah. Like the word is. So, it's a be verb. I don't really think that they have a be verb, which is a lot more efficient, actually. <laughs> My house is not big. Uh, rumah saya. Rumah saya. Tidak. Tidak. Besar. Besar. Oh, another thing is that if you would look at it, instead of saying saya rumah, like my house you say rumah saya it's like bahaiko right like the way or the syntax of the sentence is similar to tagalog and other filipino languages kami membaca dan menulis di sekolah okay we what's membaca, membaca to read dan and menulis is uh right di sekolah at School. Okay, let's check. Oh, oh! I accidentally. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, I accidentally pressed reads instead of read. Why are you doing this to me, Duo? <laughs> that orange is in the kitchen. Uh, jeru. Jeru. Itu. Itu. Um, where's that? Ada di dapur. dapur. Okay. So, again, jeruk is orange. And there is a Filipino VTuber. I think everyone knows her, Kaheru. Which is interesting because Kaheru is like um, how you would say kahel in, <laughs> in Japanese. So again, um, what is ada? It's mostly like there is. Um, saya ada <laughs> something something. I'm I have this something something like that. It's hard to explain. <laughs> Hold on, let's go to the next one. Kami membaca dan menulis di sekolah. Okay. Let's do this again without pressing the wrong. <laughs> um, hold on. Kami, we, membaca, read, and dan menulis, write, at school. Okay, we got... I'm I'm not inviting. Or do you want an invite link? <laughs> I'm going to copy it anyway. If you want to, I'm going to put it on like I don't really need it, but if you want to go for Duolingo, it's in the link in the chat. Let's try base verbs. Dia masuk. 
Okay, masok. Similar to pasok, which is enter. He enters. Oh, wait, where am I? Um, Dia kembali. Kembali. Kembali is returns. He returns. Which is kind of, well, it's not exactly the same, but it sounds similar to bumalik, right? Bali, balik, kembali. Saya keluar. Saya keluar. So, as you can see, we have um, only two um, verbs here. It's either false or go. Um, let's choose. Hmm, which one do you think is keluar? Is it go? Let's try. Oh, I go out. We didn't press out. That's okay. Saya keluar dari rumah. Saya. Saya. Keluar, keluar dari, dari rumah. rumah. I go out or went out of the room. Dari is like you're coming from somewhere. Or from the house. I came out of the house. Mereka tidak jatuh. Mereka tidak jatuh. They are not. Okay. Jatu. So earlier we already know that enters is masuk. So either we are going for falling or exit. But since we have they are not, maybe falling would be the correct answer. Okay. Jatu means falling. Okay. That food falls. Um. Makanan itu jatuh. Makanan is food. Itu is um, this or that, I think. Oh, itu is that because ini is this, I think. Saya masuk. I enter. Saya masuk. Mereka tidak kembali. They do not return. Mereka tidak kembali. The letter K in tidak is kind of Mereka. like a, a guttural sound. Is that what you call it? Or a glottal stop? <laughs> I'm not really sure. They are not falling. Mereka tidak jatuh. Okay. Oh, you have 4K pearls. Wow. That's a lot. Hold on. Let's come back here. Dia keluar dari pasar. Okay. Dia keluar dari pasar. All right. So, she, because we don't have a he, it's only she here. Keluar is comes out of Pasar is market. The market. She comes out of the market. All right, all right, all right. Tini returns to school. Tini kembali ke sekolah. You know what I want? I kind of want Duolingo to have like more... <laughs> more languages hopefully like filipino languages i would totally totally definitely would study um ilocano and bisaya that's those are the two filipino language that i want to learn the most maybe the third one would be chavacano it's very interesting i want to learn um ilocano because um i'm surrounded with um people who know a lot of ilocano i'm not from anyway i'm not gonna tell you where i am <laughs> But yeah, so I want to learn Ilocano. I also want to learn Bisaya. 
because I have a lot of friends who are Bisaya and they're very very fun um Moshe Vienna also knows how to speak Bisaya so I kind of want to you know be able to speak their language so that when they're doing memes I would understand it and then yes Shabacano because it sounds really nice because it's um, Creole Spanish it's like a mix of Filipino and Spanish okay let's go enter and exit Maso dan keluar come back Kembali. You fall. Kau or kalian? Jatu. Fall is jatu, so it's either one or three. Mereka is they, so I'm going to choose kalian. Saya keluar. I go out. let's see okay we have finished that mm, we're doing really well i think let's try to put these two with one crown each andy tidur di hotel oh your mother tongue is ilongo which is a language that's near bisaya Ilongo is like the very sweet sounding language, right? Like even if you're angry, it sounds really nice and soft and sweet. Or am I mistaken? Oh, stretch. <sighs> okay, so as you know, I am um <laughs> I am themed after the Bakunawa, which is uh Bikulano and Visayan legend myth but I've only went to like the Visayas area once I think I went to Cebu once for a field trip because my first course was tourism uh, although I didn't push through that I went to a lot of places Mindanao, I think I've gone to... Wait, which part of Mindanao was that? Mm, it was... It was a resort. I went to this resort. Ah! Is it... Da wait, Davao is Mindanao, right? Or am I mistaken? Is it still Visayas? I'm very confused. Anyway, I went to Davao. Wait, that's Davao, right? The one with Ateneo. Anyway, so I went there for, um, what do you call this, uh, another field trip and I had to um, take the bus for 10 hours because I kind of woke up a little too late and then my taxi driver decides to, I don't know, go around the airport. So I was late for my flight for a few minutes. I couldn't board the same flight. So I had to book a different flight. And it's okay because they allowed me to. But the problem is I was in a field trip, right? So we had a bus. Well, not a bus, but it's it, it's a van we had a van and i have to go with my classmates but because i had to rebook my ticket i was late and so i had to take the bus on my own <laughs> because the next flight was like a few cities away from my original destination <laughs> So it was 10 hours away. I had to take the bus for 10 hours. I didn't know anyone except like one friend. One fandom friend that I've never met in real life. Obviously, she's from Mindanao. <laughs> but she's like, hey, I'm at home and you can like eat lunch here. So I went to her house, which was surprisingly near the airport. And after that i took the bus for 10 hours my body hurt so much <laughs> i didn't really enjoy that because 
I spent most of my time on a bus. Although I enjoyed it in the sense that I actually got to experience the the place from the perspective of someone who is not who's not like doing a guided tour. I was basically doing my own tour. <laughs> So yeah, one of my misadventures, I missed my flight and took <laughs> another flight to another city because there were no more flights to the specific airport that I needed to go to and took the bus for 10 hours. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to this one. Andy tidur di hotel. Okay, tidur is to sleep. Andy sleeps in a hotel. Kucing itu tahu. What? <laughs> I am concerned. Kucing itu. So that cat tahu is to know something. That cat knows. What does the cat know? I am confused. Mereka tidak ingat saya. Mereka tidak ingat saya. They do not remember me. So, ingat in Filipino is to take care. Like, remember, it. I guess it's like remember to take care. But in Indonesian, it's to remember. Mereka lupa. Mereka lupa. They, so we know that no is tahu, so obviously it would be forget. Yes, lupa means forget. Maaf, saya lupa. Maaf, saya, saya lupa. lupa. So it's sorry, maaf is sorry. Saya lupa, I forgot. They do not remember me. Mereka tidak Ingat saya. Saya ingat kalian. Saya ingat kalian. Okay, these are words that we already encountered earlier. I remember you. That banana. Wait, what? <laughs> ah, pisang itu tidur. Okay, pisang itu tidur. I know you're looking at this word, susu. Susu means milk, if I'm not mistaken. Which is also related to the word that you're thinking of. Saya tidak tidur. Saya tidak tidur. I do not sleep. I could be saying this like maybe a few weeks ago because I was trying to fix my sleeping schedule and it's just all over the place that saya tidak tidur. <laughs> they do not know. Mereka tidak tahu. Kamu tidak ingat. Kamu tidak ingat. You do not Remember, so basically you forgot. Andy sleeps in a hotel. Andy tidur di hotel. They forget. Mereka lupa. Which is kind of weird, you know, because like lupa is the ground or soil in Filipino. Lupa in um Indonesian is to forget. Well, I guess if you bury someone in the lupa, <laughs> you forget about them eventually. <laughs> I know, I forget. Saya tahu, saya lupa. The, the cat always knows. Kucing itu Tahu. Let's go. Oh, we got a perfect score. Yay. You know what? We are gonna come back to the base 
verbs. Let's try possessive. Are you possessive? Which one of these is a ball? Okay, this is one of the things that's funny about Duolingo. They start like very, very easy to the point that, you know, even if you don't know the word, they will show you the pictures. So, ball in Indonesian is bola, which is the same bola. in Filipino. Okay, garam is salt, I think. Gadung is apartment, I think. Ini milik saya. Ini milik saya. This milik saya, I think, belongs. Oh, this is mine. Okay, milik is to belong to something, someone. Umurku inside. 10 tahun. Umurku 10 tahun. I think by the sound of it, you know what this is. I am 10 years old. Umurku is like my age. 10 is 10, which is similar to... I forgot, wait, is it Sangapulo or I forgot which language that ten is. Tahun, years, taon. Okay, let's Ini continue. Suratku. Ini suratku. So, as you can see, if you add ku at the end, it becomes a possessive type of word so it's kind of similar to tagalog where you say ko so this is my letter surat letter ini miliku ini miliku ini miliku this is mine bola dimas putih bola dimas putih so, it's kind of similar to Tagalog, but a lot simpler. So, Dima's ball is white. So, if you're going to say this bola. in Filipino, for those who are not Filipino and watching, Ang bola ni Dima's ay puti. <laughs> so, there are words that have been omitted. But that's what I like about Bahasa Indonesia. It simplifies a lot of things. Like things that you can get from context, you don't need to mention them. Gaun ini milik Sri. Oh, pulo in Ilongo is 10. Yes, monster potato. Sangapulo is Ilocano for 10. Yes, so you see, the language is very similar similar to a lot of Filipino languages. Gaun ini milik sri. Okay, this um, book is buku. So I'm guessing this is dress because it kind of like, I mean, it kind of sounds like gown. Gown ini milik Sri belongs to Sri. Okay, we are right. Dia suka bola saya. Dia suka bola saya. This sounds very sussy. <laughs> he likes my ball. Sussy. <laughs> The, the sentences in Duolingo <laughs> Kind of weird, but okay, it works Bola saya merah Bola saya merah My ball <laughs> is red <laughs> Ah, my red I keep on laughing My ball is red Right? The senses <laughs> The sentences are yabai <laughs> <laughs> Buku ini milik saya. Buku ini milik saya. This book belongs to me. Oh wait, this book is mine. Bola ini punya saya. Bola ini, this ball punya saya is mine. I think. 
Oh, what? Uh, I pressed old instead of ball? I am. <laughs> I think I need more coffee. Because sometimes I keep on pressing the wrong thing, although I'm saying the right words. <laughs> Bukuku 20. Bukuku 20. So, as you can see, 20 is 20. <laughs> Similar to Ilocano, 20 or 20. Uh, buku ko, my books. My books. Oh, I have. Wait. Du buku ko, dua pulu. My, I have 20 books. Okay. I have 20 books. Okay. Ini bola saya. Ini bola saya. This is my ball. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very, very immature when it comes to. Three makan nasi gorengku. Three is very sussy. Three is eating my fried rice, and I can't. Should I explain why I feel that this sentence is sussy? You need. <laughs> you need certain. Um, knowledge about different languages um fried rice um i forgot if it's just taiwanese or they also say it in chinese but if you say that you're making fried rice with someone it means you're doing something that's yeah bye you're doing the etchy thingies with them so i'm just saying that shri is sussy <laughs> because of that i'm gonna go before i say something <laughs> more embarrassing bola ini punya saya. okay bola ini this ball is mine punya saya means mine Okay, good. All right. So, right now it's 10:08. We will take a uh, a few minutes break. It's actually just going to be like 3 minutes. I'm going to just refill my coffee. <laughs> and yes, after we refill the coffee, we are going to continue this unless unless um unless you want to like choose a different language but if not if no one objects we are going to continue learning indonesian <laughs> hey don't say that you've learned that from me <laughs> i can also tell you the what do you call this the korean version i'm not sure if it's korean or uh japanese but like if you're in um wait is it Korean or, or Japanese? But you can also say like you're eating ramen. <laughs> so if you say you're eating ramen or ramen with someone, that is like saying, oh yeah, we're, we're going to Netflix and chill. Basically, that is the message. <laughs> I don't, don't ask me why I know these. I just pick up things from here and there. I am a dragon of many interests. I have lived long enough to learn a lot of things without intending to. <laughs> anyway, we, we are going to have a three minute break. I'm going to get more coffee and yeah, I'll be right back, honeys.
Hello, I lied. I said I'll be back in three minutes. Well, it took a lot less than three minutes to get my coffee because, as I have said, <laughs> my coffee station is like inside my room. It's on a table right beside the table that I'm using for my computer. And as I can see, someone in <laughs> chat, why are you like this? Someone is. <laughs> Potato, monster potato, what are you saying? <laughs> Naughty potato. But you know what? I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm actually impressed that you're making bars right here. <laughs> you're learning. Ah, oh, yes, you are. I think it's like, um, I'm not sure if it's specific to Taiwanese. Um, vernacular or um it also applies to mainland because they both speak mandarin but the characters they use are kind of different in mainland i think it's simplified pin i mean not pinyin but like um simplified chinese characters and then in taiwan it's the more traditional more complicated <laughs> characters I also have like other things that are say so that I can teach you. <laughs> Food based bars. Oh, I'm going to teach you another one. Um, you can say that um, someone is a watermelon because um, basically, watermelon sounds like watermelon. Which means, um, my beautiful person. So, when you say someone is a watermelon, watermelon, they are your beautiful person. So, you see, I can be say so too. <laughs> what are these bars? It's too early in the morning for popping edamame. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yes, I do have another cop, a cup of coffee right now. Um, hold on, let me take a sip. When the couples in your group say we're gonna have some, we have some fried rice, BRB, and you just blush. <laughs> That would be me. That would be me because, like, I know all of these, um, you know, subtleties in my mind. But I know that these other people don't know it. But when they say those words, my mind goes straight down to the gutter. <laughs> like someone can say the most innocent thing, and my mind is like, ooh. <laughs> It goes elsewhere, I swear. <laughs> oh, that is sad. You're gonna be having ramen alone. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, honey. <laughs> Enjoy the meal. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Let me just drink more coffee. Uh, coffee is so good anyway I think I'm going to continue with the possessive nouns what anyway where is that where is my bonk emote when I need it I will bonk you all <laughs> bonk all right, let's continue learning. Okay, which one of these is dog? Obviously, it's anjing. Anjing. Saya suka suratmu. Saya suka suratmu. I like your letter. Kucing ini milikmu. Um... 
This cat is yours. Umurmu sepuluh tahun. Umurmu sepuluh tahun. You are ten years old. Anjing kamu suka kucing. I... Why is this sussy? Why is this very sussy? No! Do a no! <laughs> Your dog likes cats. No, do a no! Anjing kamu hitam. Okay. Your dog is black. Black is hitam, which is, it kind of sounds like itim, right? Ini bukumu? Ini bukumu, this is your book. Could be just a friendly dog. <laughs> yeah, but like, my mind is always in the gutter. So you can just imagine what I thought of. <laughs> Kucingmu dua puluh. Kucingmu dua puluh. Sana all. <laughs> you have twenty cats. I want to have dua puluh kucing. Itu anjing kamu. Itu anjing kamu. That is your dog. Itu anjing kamu. Itu kucingmu. Itu kucingmu. That is your cat. So yeah, kucing sounds like kuting, which is a baby cat in Filipino. So yeah, related. Siapa nama kucingmu? Siapa nama kucingmu? What is the name of your cat? What is your cat's name? Basically, siapa means like who or what's the name? Siapa nama kucingmu. is name. Perfect. Let's go. All right. I think we can like get these two lessons up to one crown. Let's take another one of Pencil these. Dia sepuluh. Pencil dia sepuluh. Pencil dia Um. She has ten pencils. Bukunya sepuluh. <laughs> I need to make vacuum na. You know what? I need to figure out like um how to have like a vacuum thingy where if you redeem it, it will suck away all the kalat. <laughs> Halia has a uh, walis. Like it would sweep away the emojis or emotes, I don't know, that are falling down on her screen. I need a vacuum. Like I need something real powerful because I'm very, very makalat. You have 20 cats? Nice, I'm learning. <laughs> Ang yaman naman nila, 10 mga pens at libro. Oh, hi! Hi, Stoic Demon! Yes, we are doing Duolingo Online. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. My name is BB Bakunawa and I am a moon eating dragon. Most of the time I do um, karaoke, gaming, and like, what else do I do? <laughs> Aside from being makalat. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, following me. Uh, I hope you do not regret it. Yes, fortune telling. I do fortune telling. I read tarot cards and oracle cards. Um, I don't know if I will stream like art making because I do make art, but at the same time, it's more of traditional. I don't really jive well with technology. I'm not good at digital, so yeah. So right now, what we're doing is um, Duolingo. We are learning Bahasa Indonesia. And it's kind of very, very related to Filipino languages. So let's go. Bukunya sepulu. She has 10 books. Buku itu miliknya. 
Buku, buku itu, itu miliknya. miliknya. This book is his or hers. That is his pencil. Um, itu pensil dia. Dia is that person. Pensil dia hitam dan merah. His pencils are hitam is black, dan and merah is red. This is her book. Ini bukunya. So, um, I forgot what language, uh, I mean, what Filipino language uses ini. It, there's a language in the Philippines that uses ini to refer to this, right? So, in Indonesian, itu is not like ito, which is something that's near. Itu is something, uh, you're pointing at something that's far. So, that. Itu is that. Ini is this. Okay? Language. Ini bukunya. Ini bukunya. This is her book. Again, Nya is um, the same, similar to the Nya that we know in Filipino, but, uh, well, not but, it's also at the same time it is gender neutral. Bahasa Indonesia, just like Filipino languages, doesn't really have like a gender for people. That book is hers. Buku. Buku. Itu miliknya. miliknya. His pencils are black and red. Pensilnya black is hitam, hitam. and red. Dan, Dan merah. Merah. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Perfect. Yay! We're now at level one over there. Let's do that for the base verbs as well. I'm not sure what level we have to be in all of this to be able to open the other ones. But let's try to get everything to level Selesai. 1. Selesai. Selesai. Um, I think we can... Let's try this. I am not sure, but <laughs> that seems like the correct answer. See, selesai means finish. Mereka tidak bisa membaca. Oh, mereka tidak bisa membaca. That means mereka they tidak bisa cannot bisa is like um ability. So it's kind of similar to Tagalog's uh, bisa, like um it, it's the effectivity. But here bisa means the ability. Membaca is to read. They cannot read. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hold on. <laughs> Terima, Terima kasih. kasih. I think I should put banyak over here. Banyak. banyak. Terima, Terima kasih. I'm not sure about my syntax. Let's check. Oh, I have to put it at the end. Mereka selesai makan. Mereka, Mereka selesai, selesai makan. makan. They finished eating. So we already learned the word selesai earlier. It means finished. Mereka mulai makan. Mereka mulai makan. They start to eat. So mulai is to start. It's similar to mula. <laughs> right? Right? In Filipino, mula is from. Like in the beginning. So it's easy to actually learn this language if you know any Filipino language because there are a lot of similarities. And when it comes to um, basically pedagogy, l learning strategies and um, theories, uh, there's this thing called um, scaffolding. Like you learn something better if you can connect uh, 
other things that you've already learned before so if you already have something to connect this information to it's going to be easier for you to remember it that's why i when i'm training people to do well in exams i tell them to uh, employ certain techniques wherein they would connect information to other information that they can easily remember so that they would remember the things that they have to dia tinggal di rumah dia tinggal di rumah she um stays tinggal is to stay somewhere at home oh welcome 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 alab hi hi welcome to the stream uh, alab is our ibong adarna <laughs> She cannot eat. Dia tidak bisa makan. Tidak selesai. Tidak selesai. So, not finished. Not finished. We just learned this earlier. Tidak selesai. Saya tidak bisa. Ta saya tidak bisa. I can't. <laughs> I cannot. Just like the meme. I literally cannot. <laughs> He starts to eat. Dia mulai makan. Again, mulai is to start something. But in Filipino, the similar word is mula, which is you start from somewhere. It's a physical place most of the time. Mereka tidak tinggal di sana. Mereka tidak tinggal di sana. They do not stay, wait, live. There. Di sana. Let's check. They do not live there. Di sana is there. They start to eat. Mereka mulai makan. Start. Mulai. I live here. Saya tinggal di sini. Here is di sini. There is di sana. And if you want to ask where, you say di mana. I hope that the people in the chat are learning something. I'm also learning. <laughs> Yes, tida is not. Like tida bisa cannot like do something. Hold on, let's go back to Duolingo. Oh, she stays at home. Dia tinggal di rumah or ia. So, it's kind of similar. Yes, thank you very much. We got this incorrectly because I put the very much before the thank you <laughs> yeah yeah thank you is terima, terima kasih terima. wait where there kasih. very much is banyak banyak okay let's go let's go let's go yay we've earned 254 xp today and we're now on level one in base verbs okay we've opened the other ones would you like to try any of these other three we have clothing conjunctions plurals hmm let's see let's try clothing again to the people who just arrived <laughs> Welcome to my stream. We are doing Duolingo. We are learning Bahasa Indonesia. My name is Bibi. Bibi Bakunawa. I am a moon-eating dragon. Um, what was it? What was I gonna say? Um, Selamat pagi. Nama saya Bibi. Bibi Bakunawa. Saya. Um, what, what? What was I gonna say? <laughs> saya. Naga pemakan bulan, <laughs> moon eating dragon. Hold on, Wh which one of these is clothes? 
pakairan o pakai or pakayan pakayan all right if you if you just look on the left sapatos sepatu similar right which of these is bag tas tas di mana pakaian saya di mana pakan saya okay we were talking about this earlier when mana i mean where pakaian is clothes saya is me where are my clothes i don't know why he is missing his clothes but at this point this is not even the sussiest thing that we've read here which one of these is pants celana 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 so as we have said earlier the letter c is um kind of different when they pronounce it celana celana it's more similar to how chinese specifically mandarin would pronounce well they don't pronounce the c but like the opinion of it when you hear the c in the i mean when you say the letter c in pinyin it's similar to this celana okay shoes sepatu sepatu saya punya sepatu merah saya punya sepatu merah i punya is have sepatu merah red shoes let's go Um, I'm hello, hello, Zen Zeus. Um, I'm not playing a game. We are doing Duolingo. Uh, ini tidak game. <laughs> Saya. Wait, what's learning? <laughs> We are streaming my Duolingo learning. BB the sausage. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Welcome to the stream. My name is Bibi. Nama saya Bibi. Saya um, Naga Philippine. <laughs> Naga VTuber Philippine. Naga means dragon in Indonesia, which is um, kind of interesting because Naga is like a general term for serpents in like um, if the Indonesian lore something well it kind of originates from india i'm gonna talk about that someday oh yeah i am planning to discuss the mythology of bakunawa where the myths and legend originated from from a historical point of view i hope that you will be here when that happens let's go back to duolingo dompet kamu merah dompet kamu merah okay I am assuming that Nompet is wallet because that's the only <laughs> thing here that makes sense. Your wallet is red. Let's try that. Okay, we are Kantong correct. Kantong saya besar. Kantong saya besar. Okay, my pocket is big. Let's see. Kantong celana. Kantong celana. So, the pockets of someone's pants. Oh, pants pocket. Sure. Saya membeli celana. Saya membeli celana. So, I am buying pants. Membeli is similar to Filipino bumili or bumibili. Dompet saya hitam. Dompet saya hitam. My wallet is black. Well, the nagas are yes, yes and no. <laughs> so you see, the naga is um, depicted as snake-like creatures. They're not exactly snake. Um. In some iterations of, well, most iterations of how Nagas are depicted, they're mostly like half human, half snake. But 
yeah let's just relate to all the snake like serpent like um dragons it's kind of you know it kind of gets lost in translation because these kinds of legends i think they originated from india and then from india they moved inward to well not inward but outwards to southeast asia and as it gets farther from its origins it kind of changes so to make it like um easier think of it as the bakunawa legend um there is a similar legend in the tagalog uh, because Bakunawe is mostly Visayan, Bikulano, right? In Tagalog, there is a similar legend, but the name of the dragon is Laho. Like, to disappear, Maglaho. But, Laho is actually related to Raho, which is, um, like, if you go further and further away, you will reach um, India, you will realize that it is originally taken from rahu which is um i think he is a demon yeah sort of basically some sort of entity that tried to drink this um immortality uh serum i don't know what you call that thingy basically they tried to achieve immortality to and drink this sort of nectar and then their main god vishnu i think is it vishnu or lakshmi i'm not sure they chopped off his head and then the head they call it rahu the body is katu and that went to wait wait, wait. let me just remember okay his name is rahu and then the moon and the sun deities were the one who snitched on him that's why in india in their uh, mythology when there is an eclipse whether it's lunar or, or solar it, they're saying that rahu is trying to eat the sun and the moon to get revenge for snitching on him and basically because his head is cut off you can imagine if you eat something and you're just ahead it would go right out right because <laughs> there's nowhere to go but out because your neck is cut off so that's why in in an eclipse <laughs> they're saying that oh rahu is eating the moon or the sun and it goes back out from his neck so that's where the legend originally comes from and then when it went down to like um the rest of asia like thailand indonesia malaysia it like evolved into something that is more um close to the dragon that we have so closer to a naga serpent like thingy and that is because also according to like indian legends the body of rahu ketu is it became i don't know it merged with a serpent or something it became a serpent i'm going to like get my shit together and say it in a more eloquent manner when i do my proper research but basically that's where the legend comes from but there is also a separate legend that comes from the chinese uh area where it talks about a celestial dragon eating the sun or the moon and the dragon is invisible and there they bang pots pans drums similar to what our ancestors would do to distract the dragon from eating the sun or moon so personally it's my belief that these two legends although they started out as separate they kind of merged together to what we know now as the bakunawa legend i'm gonna talk about that again <laughs> when i do my stream dedicated to that yeah yeah i'm not really well before i researched the origins of the bakunawa legend my only knowing of rahu is through astrology as you know i do tarot and astrology and in astrology uh we take point of rahu and ketu in 
like someone's birth chart yeah but that's mostly vedic astrology the astrology that most people in the west and in the philippines use are um i think that's tropical yeah but i'm also interested in vedic astrology that's why i'm kind of familiar with rahu being the head and ketu being the body anyway we have gone <laughs> of course i was trying to do duolingo here <laughs> Sorry, Dia I really soup tomat. talk a lot. Dia membeli soup tomat. Okay, he is buying soup tomat, tomato soup. Pakaian dan tas saya hitam. Okay, pakaian dan tas saya hitam. My clothes and bag. Or black because pakaian is clothes tas hitam. is bag hitam is black my shoes are black sepatu, sepatu. saya hitam. hitam okay let's go tini is buying clothes tini, tini membeli, membeli pakaian, pakaian. Let's go, let's go. We got a perfect score. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I'm going to try conjunction and plurals as well. Let's do it. Tapi. Okay, hold on. Where is that? I'm lost. Honey, I'm lost again in my... Okay, tapi. But. Okay, see, I still kind of remember some of my Indonesian 10 class. Di sini atau di sana? Di sini, here. Um, di sana is there. Atau? Here or there? Okay, atau is or. Tapi is but. Dia minum jus yang kamu tidak minum. Dia minum jus yang kamu tidak minum. She minum jus, drinks juice. Yang kamu tidak minum, which you did not or do not drink, which you do not drink. Are we correct? Yay! Yes or no? Ya atau tidak? Okay, ya is yes. No is tidak. Ya atau tidak? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, that is correct. So, if we are going to translate twice song, yes or yes. <laughs> ya atau ya. <laughs> but, tapi. Saya atau dia. Saya atau dia. Me or her. Okay, I think something dramatic is going on if this is like the sentence you need am, am i correct yes saya atau dia so it, this is something that you're going to say to your girlfriend or boyfriend or non-binary non-binary lover if you find them with a girl saya atau dia <laughs> She drinks the juice which you do not drink. Dia minum jus yang kamu tidak minum. Right? Am I correct? Yes. Mereka membaca buku yang saya suka. Mereka, Mereka membaca, membaca buku. buku. Wait. Mereka hold on. membaca buku yang saya suka. Mereka membaca. Hold on. <laughs> I need to do something real quick. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I have just been delivered. Um, what is this? This is, I think this is melons by 
Mama Bakunawa, which I didn't even know she's here right now. So, for context, Mama Bakunawa <laughs> does not live with me. <laughs> she appears here sometimes with Papa Bakunawa, and I am just surprised that she's here right now. Mmm. Delicious. I think the Indonesian word for this is anak. Delicious, right? Chat, am I correct? <laughs> anyway, let's listen to this one more time. Mereka membaca buku yang saya suka. Yang, yang saya, saya suka. suka. So, I read a book that I like or I'm reading a book that I like. Oh, not I, mereka, oh, they, mm, they're reading a book I like. Let's see. Me or her? Oh, we are back here, huh? Saya atau dia? Saya suka apel tapi dia suka jeruk. Saya suka apel tapi dia suka jeruk. I like apples. I like apples. Tapi, but, dia suka jeruk. She or he likes oranges. I like apples, but she likes oran oranges. Saya suka apel, tapi dia suka jeruk. Okay, let's saya go. Saya punya apel yang saya tidak suka. Okay, saya punya apel yang saya tidak suka. Okay, I like apple, which I don't. Want? Wait. I have an apple that I don't want. I have an apple that I do not like. Let's go. Yay! We got it correctly. Okay, hard exercise. They left from here, but they did not go to school. Mereka. Mereka. Um. Uh, left. Um, left is. Wait, wait. <laughs> Toko or pergi? Wait. Let's try. Da mereka toko, toko dari. Dan. Here is. Sini. Sini. Tapi, Tapi mereka, mereka tidak, tidak pergi, pergi, pergi ke, ke sekolah. sekolah. Is this the correct way to say it? Oh! <laughs> Wait, where is pergi? Ah. Okay, okay. Mereka pergi dari di sini, dari sini. Tapi mereka tidak. Ke sekolah. So, ke is like to go to. We don't need to say pergi anymore. Okay, I guess. They are reading a book that I like. Mereka membaca, Mereka membaca buku, buku yang, yang saya or aku. Saya. saya. Suka. Suka. All right. They left from here, but okay. Let's try it one more time. Mereka, Mereka pergi, pergi dari, dari sini, sini. Tapi, tapi tidak, tidak ke, ke sekolah. sekolah. Okay, tapi Mereka, Mereka tidak, tidak ke sekolah. sekolah. Yes! Finally, we got it correctly. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, let's try plurals. Anyway, uh, I hope that you were learning something with me. <laughs> so, again, 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 welcome to our Learning with BB. <laughs> let's learn Bahasa Indonesia. If you want to learn a different language with me, uh, you can always just 
message me on Facebook or Twitter. My Twitter account is right here on the left side of the screen. Makunawa Air. It's B A K U N A W A underscore H E I R. And my name on Facebook is Bibi Bakunawa. I, I I accept friend requests as much as I can. <laughs> anyway, let's go and continue. Hi, hello, Pat Dayari. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> my name is Bibi. Oh, Pat Dayat. Hello, hello, welcome. We are learning Bahasa Indonesia and we are now on the plurals. Let's go. Kucing-kucing itu suka susu. Kucing-kucing uh, itu suka susu. Wait, those cats um like milk so i have said this earlier susu means milk although in filipino it's kind of, <laughs> we think it's sussy because it refers to the boobas instead of the thing that comes out of the boobas dia menulis surat-surat ini dia menulis surat-surat ini she writes these letters okay so as we can see when we double the word, it becomes plural. Saya punya gaun-gaun merah. Saya punya gaun-gaun merah. Uh, I have red dresses. Apel-apel itu ada di dapur. Apel-apel itu ada di dapur. Um, those apples are in the kitchen. Oh, honey, I don't know Homura Demon Slayer song. <laughs> oh, I think. Hold on, let's go to YouTube. Hold on, let's pause that, and then we are going to YouTube. Um, what's the title? Oh, sing any song. Um, what language do you want me to sing? I can sing in Filipino, English, Chinese, Korean, Japanese. Mm, choose a language. Japanese. Okay, let's think. What song should we sing in Japanese? Um, I'm gonna come back to my um, Duolingo while thinking. Mm, what Japanese song? Um, Furui e igan no yona serifu wa te kitara ina so ite terete wa warau kimi itsu mo no boku to kitara shabete bakari da keto so demune konya wa toku betsu sa okay <laughs> thank you thank you thank you Hello, hello, thank you. We are having a fun stream <laughs> learning Bahasa Indonesia in Duolingo. I hope you are having fun as well. Let us continue. Again, those apples are in the kitchen. Apple, apple itu ada di dapur. Koran, koran ini dari Jakarta. Okay, koran, koran ini dari Jakarta. These newspaper, Koran in Indonesian, I think is newspapers, Dari is from, are from Jakarta. Yay, let's go. Okay, let me just play my music <laughs> so it doesn't sound so quiet. Right, this in Indonesian. This cat is yours. Kucing ini. Um... Milikmu. Milikmu. Yay, we Berapa got it jeruk jeruk ini? Berapa jeruk jeruk ini? Uh, wait, wait. Those oranges. 
how many or are these oranges or how are these oranges <laughs> let's see i'm not very sure with barapa oh how many i was correct the first time <laughs> Dang it. jeruk jeruk saya ada di dapur jeruk jeruk, jeruk saya, saya ada, ada di, di dapur. dapur i have oranges at home or uh, oh <laughs> in the kitchen i have Oh, my oranges are in the kitchen. Of course. Tini punya buku-buku ini di rumah. Tini punya buku buku-buku ini di rumah. Tini um books. Tini has books in the house. Let's try that. Or at home. Tini has books at home. <gasps> Ah, ini. Oh, yes. T Tini has these books at home. Mm. Those cats like milk. Kucing, kucing itu suka susu. Those apples are red. Apple, apple itu merah. Let's continue. She does not like white dresses. Dia, dia or ia tidak suka gaun-gaun putih. We read newspapers and books. Kita membaca buku-buku dan... Uh, wait. Koran-koran dan buku-buku. <laughs> This one. Those apples are in the kitchen. Apple, apple itu ada di dapur. These letters and books are mine. Surat-surat ini dan jeruk-jeruk. Wait, surat-surat dan buku-buku ini um, punya saya. Is it? Let's try. Yes. These letters are from you. Surat-surat ini dari kamu. Berapa jeruk-jeruk ini? Berapa jeruk-jeruk ini? How many are these oranges? Tini punya buku-buku ini di rumah. Tini punya buku-buku ini di rumah. Tini has these books at home. I miss the word ini. Earlier. Yay! So we are now going back to clothing. We're trying to get one crown from each of these. And after we get one crown, I think we will be ending the stream because it's already 11. But let's continue with clothing. Let's see if we still remember some of the words we've learned earlier. Let's go, let's go. Coat. Kameja. 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 Okay, let's... Oh, what? What? Mantel. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, this is a coat. I was the... Yeah. I don't know the difference of a coat and a regular shirt, <laughs> apparently. Skirt. Rock. Tini punya rock hitam. Tini punya rock hitam. Tini has a black skirt. Shirt. Kameja. Kameja. Jacket ini besar. Jacket ini besar. This jacket or that jacket. Yes, this is ini. This jacket is big. Besar is big, right? Okay, we are correct. Saya suka jaket kamu. Saya, Saya suka, suka jaket, jaket kamu. kamu. I like your jacket. Hold on, let me just drink some coffee for some coffee drinking ASMR to counteract <laughs> the clinking of dishes from outside.
and now I'm gonna eat some melons mm. Mm. sabuk itu mm. sabuk itu mm -hmm. that belt payung ini besar so if you would notice the word for umbrella is similar payung it's just that in filipino you use o and i'm going to explain that later payong ini this umbrella besar is big kami membawa soup kami membawa soup mm, we i think it would be bring I'm not sure. I don't I don't know why this is in the clothing chapter. <laughs> Kameja puti. Kameja puti. Kameja is shirt, right? White shirt. Okay, good. Saya punya payung. Saya punya payung. I have an umbrella. Okay, I think this is the time that I would explain this. So, if you would notice, it is kind of um, a pervasive theme in the Filipino languages back then where I and E are interchangeable and O and U are also kind of interchangeable. And if you would study by buy-in, you would notice that there is no separate B and B or the I and E sound when you write it because it kind of changes depending on how the sentence well not the sentence but the word is constructed so when you say the word for woman baba e but um, it's a eh in that word, but if you put it in a sentence in a regular um, conversation, sometimes it would sound like i eh instead of e. Eh. So we say itong babaing ito, babaing ito. So it becomes i, right? But if you say that in like if you follow the e eh sound, it would sound kind of weird. Itong baba babaeng ito it doesn't sound natural there are just letters that um interchange in our language to make it sound um more natural another example of this is the o and u when you say o o but uh it's correct right it's two o's o o and then if you put it in a sentence it becomes let's say o o nga but it kind of sounds um, a little unnatural. So for it to glide easier, you say o unga. It becomes o and u. O unga. That's how you pronounce it. That's why we're kind of very lenient when it comes to transcribing those sounds. And it would explain why in some languages, they kind of interchange those sounds like let's say um i hear a lot of people from like luzon making fun of people from the visayas or mindanao because the softer sounds like the e and the o becomes hard it becomes e and u and vice versa it changes but in our language that shouldn't really matter that much right because in our group of languages those sounds are interchangeable the same way that d and r are interchangeable so we have like one character for the sound da and ra that's why um when you say the word dao like according to someone dao that's the correct way to write it but if you put it in a sentence and um the 
word that you ended with ends in I mean the word before it ends in a consonant um, I think it it changes so instead of saying dao it becomes rao same with doon it becomes roon so yeah there are just letters pairs of letters that are interchangeable and you can see that reflected in um, how some words in Indonesian and in Filipino are similar but like you change the O to an U or the U to an O so instead of payong it becomes payong so listen saya punya payong saya punya payong but when you say it it sounds virtually the same right tini membeli mantel oh hello ogi or do i pronounce that as ogi or oji hi welcome 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 and yes 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 uh as long as we understand each other so it's kind of my pet peeve when people are like very critical of how others pronounce words because the main uh, the main thing about language is for people to understand each other right so as long as you understand each other i don't see why we should nitpick each other's pronunciation especially when someone is not from the region where this language originated so yeah let's just chill and vibe and communicate with each other who cares if we have different pronunciation of words <laughs> good morning good morning good morning yes so let's continue i keep on ranting i <laughs> tini membeli mantel tini buys a coat which is kind of weird we have a different item for mantel but it's also um, made out of cloth mantel in filipino is like the thing that you use to cover like a table right but in indonesian in bahasa indonesia uh mantel is a coat saya punya sabuk hitam saya punya sabuk hitam I have a black, I think it's belt because pass is bag, jacket is also jacket. <laughs> yes, we are correct. I have a black belt. Saya punya sabuk hitam. Dia tidak membawa tas. Dia tidak membawa tas. Um, he does not um bring a bag membawa is bring i think <laughs> kamu punya correct. payung hitam kamu punya payung hitam you kamu punya have a payung hitam a black umbrella coat okay mantel, mantel as we have mantel 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 okay yay complete let's go let's go let's go oh it's not yeah i guess let's go back to conjunctions i will try my hardest not to <laughs> be too talkative about other things let's try to finish these three lessons here karena mereka membaca buku itu okay Ka karena mereka membaca buku itu hold on <laughs> my brain just mereka is they membaca is to read books um because they read that book i think because they read that book let's see if we are correct 
Aji, are you Indonesian or Malaysian? Are you Filipino? <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Oh, I think you're Filipino since you said hello po. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream again. Okay, let's continue. Mereka tidak suka kacang, jadi mereka tidak makan. Okay, honey, slow down. <laughs> Mereka tidak suka kacang, jadi mereka tidak makan. Let's dial it down. They don't like... Um, they do not like... Um, kacang, I'm not sure, but the only verb here is school and peanuts. I'm going to choose peanuts. Jadi mereka tidak makan. So, they do not eat. Okay, let's try that. Yay, we're correct. Saya minum air ketika saya makan. Okay, saya minum air. I drink water ketika saya makan. Okay. The only conjunction here or conjunctive word is because. So, let's try that. I drink water. Oh, when I eat. Let's try that. Okay, that is correct. Ketika is like um when. <laughs> mereka pergi dari sini, namun mereka tidak ke sekolah. Okay, mereka pergi dari sini. They come from here, namun mereka tidak ke sekolah. However, they do not go to school. Let's try that. They left from here however they did not go to school hmm. yes we are correct again i ate when he left saya makan ketika dia pergi ketika is um when something happens <laughs> When something else happens, I don't know how to explain. Saya kuat karena saya minum susu. Saya kuat karena saya minum susu. I am strong because I drink milk. So, kuat is strong. Yes, karena means because. Because, karena Because I like that cat Karena saya suka kucing itu Hey, hey, hey Filipino pride, yay <laughs> Let's continue Mereka pesan kopi, namun mereka tidak pesan makanan Wait, wait, wait Slow down, honey Mereka pesan kopi, namun mereka tidak pesan makanan Mereka, mereka pesan, pesan kopi, kopi. Namun, namun wait. mereka pesan kopi, namun mereka tidak pesan makanan. Merek, namun mereka, mereka tidak, tidak pesan, pesan makanan. makanan. Okay. They ordered coffee, however, they did not order food. Okay, let's try this one. I drink water when I eat. Uh, saya minum air ketika saya makan. Saya makan ketika dia pergi. Saya makan ketika dia pergi. I ate when he left. They do not like peanuts, so they do not eat. Mereka tidak suka kacang, um, jadi mereka tidak makan. Is that it? Yes. Mereka jadi makan ayam. Mereka jadi makan ayam. So, they eat chicken. However, I do not know. So, um, I think it's namun because karena is because, right? Namun, saya tidak tahu. They came, so we left. Mereka uh, datang. Mereka. 
So datang. We left. Uh, jadi jadi kami, kami pergi pergi. They left from here. However, they did not go to school. Mereka, Mereka. um wait. <laughs> Mereka pergi, pergi pergi dari sini. Dari sini. However, namun or karena wait. Namun. Namun. Mereka, mereka tidak, tidak ke sekolah. Ke sekolah. Yay, we got it correctly. Yes, yes, yes. Kucing is like kuting in Filipino. I've been saying that earlier that we have a lot of words that are common with Bahasa Indonesia and by relation Bahasa Malaysia. So that is one of the reasons why I like learning this language because there's a lot of uh, similarities and it's a lot easier to learn when you already have information to connect the new information with. Yay! We're now at level one on conjunctives or conjunctions. Let's try plural again. We're trying to reach level one for all of these clothing and plural so that we can open the next ones let's try plurals kue kue saya enak okay kue is uh like um what do you call this kakanin <laughs> in filipino so i think um they just put cakes here because it's kind of difficult to say kakanin or kue in english well they can just say rice cakes but they're not all made of rice so yeah it's the local types of um delicacies kue kue saya enak my cakes are delicious saya suka hotel hotel besar saya suka hotel hotel besar i like big hotels I like big hotels. So again, if you want to make a noun plural, you double it. Sekolah-sekolah itu ada di sini. Sekolah-sekolah itu ada di sini. Um, itu is those schools are here. Rumah-rumah merah di Jakarta. Rumah rumah merah di Jakarta. Red houses in Jakarta. Alright. Bola bola ini merah dan putih. Bola bola ini merah dan putih. These balls. <laughs> Here we go again about balls. Bola bola ini merah. Um, red red. Where is red? Are red and white. Toko-toko saya ada di pasar. Toko-toko saya ada di pasar. Um, my stores are at the market. Pasar is market. Toko is store. Rumah-rumah, sekolah-sekolah, dan toko-toko. Rumah-rumah. Sekolah, 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 dan, dan toko, toko toko. Okay, houses, schools, and stores. Anjing anjing saya tidak suka kucing. Okay, anjing anjing saya, anjing is dog. So my dogs tidak suka, do not like kucing. All right. That's one of uh, that's actually one of my favorite words in Bahasa Indonesia. Kucing, <laughs> cat. Dia tidak suka gedung-gedung itu. Dia tidak suka gedung-gedung itu. Dia, he, tidak suka, does not like itu uh, is those gedung-gedung buildings. These hotels are big. Hotel-hotel ini besar. 
Red Houses in Jakarta, rumah-rumah uh, merah di Jakarta. These balls are red and white. Uh, bola-bola ini merah dan putih. Where's that? Here. My cakes are delicious. Now, I just realized how sussy this sentence is. Kwe-kwe saya enak. My dogs do not like cats. Anjing, anjing. Anjing. Uh, where's the other anjing? Anjing. <laughs> saya, saya tidak suka. Tidak suka. Kucing. Kucing. He does not like those buildings. Dia tidak dia. suka. Itu. Oh, wait, wait, not itu. It's tida. Tida. Suka. suka. Um, where is gedung? gedung? Gedung. Itu. Itu. Okay. Perfect. We're doing well. Now we are at level one for plurals. And we just have to finish clothing. Hi, hi, Aya. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are about to finish our lessons in Bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> Sounds like coaching, which is funny because like, People are like projecting kuching to be a cat girl, and kuching is, well, a cat. <laughs> you the best girl. Well, for me, my best girl is still and will always be Ningguang. Although I like trying to um, read the voice lines of Lisa. <laughs> Just because I think my voice is closest to hers, like in terms of like the way we speak. Like I don't really have to try. <laughs> so which one of these is a hat or a cap? Topi. Topi. Again, we already learned these other two earlier. Chalana is pants and mantel is coat. Which doesn't really look like a coat. It looks like a regular jacket. Mantel. Topi. Celana. Topi. Topi. Let's go. Shall saya. Shall saya. My. I think shall is scarf. If I'm. Am I wrong? Yes, I'm correct. Dasi dan topi. Dasi dan topi. Um. I forgot what dasi is, but topi is a hat. So. Tie and hat. Let's try. Dasi is tie, like a necktie. Kaus kaki dan sepatu. Kaus kaki dan sepatu. So obviously, sepatu is shoes. Um, what do you think? Uh, let's see. Socks and shoes. Let's try. I'm not really confident about this. Oh, we are correct. Saya tidak memakai sepatu. Okay, saya tidak memakai sepatu. I am not wearing shoes. Memakai is wearing, I think. <gasps> I, I forgot to click the word wearing. Oh no, we always do this. I always... Ugh. Honey. Tidak selamat jalan. No. Goodbye. Selamat jalan is um like it's goodbye but it's a specific type of goodbye you're saying goodbye to someone who is leaving i think and then when you want to say goodbye and you are the one leaving so the other person is staying selamat tinggal i think that is how it is or did i mix that up anyway Yes. Tidak. Selamat jalan. Kami punya sarung tangan putih. Okay. We have mm, gloves. Wait, is it gloves? White gloves? 
sarong tangan because like tangan in Filipino is like holding something so I am <laughs> I'm like deducing sarong tangan so sarong is like something you wear something you wear with something you're holding something with so that is gloves right <laughs> sarong tangan puti so white gloves let's check if my logic is correct Okay, we are correct. Kami memakai sarung tangan dan kaos kaki. Okay, let's repeat that. Kami memakai sarung tangan dan kaos kaki. Okay, kami kami memakai, memakai sarung, sarung tangan tangan dan, dan kaos kaos kaki. kaki. We wear gloves and socks. So sarung tangan is gloves, kaos kaki is socks. Dia membeli kaos merah dan celana hitam. Okay, dia membeli kaos merah dan celana hitam. So he is buying or yeah, he buys kaos merah a uh, red uh, kaos is I forgot wait. It's not pants. It's not hat red t-shirt let's see kaos merah and celana hitam so black pants let's try this oh i forgot the a i keep on forgetting the articles honey i need more coffee i'm just gonna drink a little bit more shall itu Shall itu? That scarf? Oh, yes. I am... I just... <laughs> Kaos on. kaki hitam. Kaos kaki hitam. Um, black socks. Kaos kaki is socks. So, kaos is a t-shirt, right? And then, kaos kaki, socks. Did I remember that correctly? Chat, help me! Mereka membawa kaos merah. Okay, mereka membawa kaos merah. They membawa... Um, what's that? Kaos merah is red t-shirt. We bring... They bring a red t-shirt. Let's try that. Yay, that's great. Saya memakai kaos hitam. Saya memakai kaos hitam. I am wearing a black t-shirt. Or I wear a black t-shirt. Let's try that. Yay. Kamu punya dasi dan dompet. Okay. Kamu punya dasi dan dompet. You have What's that? Um, um, dasi is tie, right? And a wallet. Dompet is wallet, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we are. Andi correct. memakai shawl merah dan dasi putih. Andi memakai shawl merah dan dasi putih. So Andy is wearing a red um scarf. And a white tie. Andy, wait, not glove, is wearing a red scarf and a white tie. Let's try that. Oh, you have class now. Go, 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 go. Come on. Aral, aral, before ara, ara. <laughs> Go to your class. I will not, should not, cannot keep you from education. Sarung tangan merah dan topi hitam itu. Sarung tangan merah dan topi hitam itu. Sarung tangan is gloves. Oh, so, so we have red gloves and black hat. Okay, so that. Wait, wait, wait. Sarung tangan merah. Glove. Red glove. 
red glove and that black cat <gasps> that red glove oh i forgot <laughs> the word that i keep on forgetting some words that red glove and that black hat saya tidak memakai sepatu okay saya tidak memakai sepatu i am not wearing shoes not wearing shoes okay dia membeli kaos merah dan celana hitam okay dia membeli kaos merah dan celana hitam he buys a red T-shirt and celana hitam, black hat. Oh, what he buys a red T-shirt? Oh, not oh yeah, not hat. Celana is pants. No, oh, no. Sarung tangan merah dan topi hitam itu. Sarung tangan merah dan topi itu. That. Red glove and topi hitam itu, um, and that black hat. Okay, we got that. Dia membeli kaos merah dan celana hitam. Third try. They. Mm, no, not they. He. <laughs> Dia buys kaos merah. A red T-shirt and celana hitam, black pants. Honey, finally. Okay, let's wait for it. Okay, so we have finally, finally finished. Oh, so I think. Complete checkpoint one. So this is checkpoint one. We are going to do that some other time because <laughs> what time is it? It's now eleven thirty-four. So yeah, again, aral aral before ara ara. This is Bibi Bakunawa saying, um, yeah, aral aral before ara ara. Eat your lunch and. I hope you have a great day ahead, <laughs> and I also hope that you had fun in my stream. Did did you like learning something today? Oh, I am glad that you learned a lot. <laughs> They are by secret secret messages. Okay, so um, in relation to the stream, I am planning to have more language learning streams in the future. Um, if you want, I can even teach like high school maths if you want to, <laughs> like a refresher for all the maths classes that you have um, skipped before. But the sure thing that I'm going to do is like again discuss the origins historically of the Bakunawa legend. I'm doing a lot of research right now so that I can deliver it to you. And if that proves to be something that people actually like, I might do the same for other Filipino myths and legend. <laughs> I'm now Auntie, <laughs> Auntie BB. <laughs> Ah, I had a lot of fun uh, learning with you guys. Again, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat po. Terima kasih banyak. Um, so, salamat. Wait, is it jalan or tinggal? I think I do not know what applies in the internet. <laughs> But anyway, um, goodbye. Anyong, adios. Uh, what else? Au revoir. Um, <laughs> sayonara, Bibi. Bye bye. Thank you. Have a great lunch. <laughs>